So apparently Tupperware is no good anymore. Bipod or Bipod, because that's the edgy way of writing it now, though I do actually like it when it's written like that, is a brand new product that's launched here in the UK that helps keep your food looking and feeling and tasting fresh. And they do this by using a small tool that removes up to 95% of the oxygen from their containers. And we were sent one of their starter kits to check out. Now I will say that I do live alone and my fridge is pretty much empty near 100% of the time. Why? Because when I buy food, it tends to go off before I get a chance to eat it. Especially when it comes to things like vegetables and salad items. But saying that, something like the Biopod is pretty much ideal for me if it means I can extend the life of my vegetables. And to put it to the test, I'm going to put one tomato in a Biopod food container and one in my salad drawer in my fridge to see which one wins. But before doing that, let's talk about what you get in the starter kit here. Now for two 270 great British pounds at the time of writing this script. You get the droid, which is capable of 50 M bar of vacuum pressure, whatever that means. Now I did try looking on Google and it threw back a lot of maths and three food containers at various sizes with the smallest one hitting at 0.4 liters, the medium at 0.7 liters, and then the large one at 1.4 liters. Now we do have yellow containers here, but they do come in a variety of colors on the Bipod website if you so desire to match them to your kitchen. And you've also got a charging base which is compatible with USB Type-C cables and you get a wall plug too. Now charging takes no time at all at under two hours and you're ready to go vacuuming your food to make it last a long time. The containers are dishwasher approved as well and can be used in the fridge or freezer or cupboards for your cereals. So okay, with that out of the way, how do we get on with the tomatoes? Let's go take a look. So I did go to the supermarket today. I do apologize about the lights in my kitchen. They are absolutely gross. So you'll no see that flickering happening. But I went to the supermarket today and I picked up a couple of tomatoes, nice and fresh. Uh, one of them is gonna be going into the Bipod food container and the other one is going to be going directly into the fridge, into the fruit and vegetable tray. So the actual container itself opens like a typical food container Tupperware kind of box and it's a bowl shape one tomato is going inside and we're going to seal that up now over in this corner of the kitchen this is where I have the droid on charge and it is currently charging at the moment it is a two hour charge on there to get it to full battery but it's not full at the moment but I'm going to give it a try anyway just to see if that will work on top of the uh, food container. Okay, so this first set of instructions, they're saying I need to put the pressure plate, which if you look at the bottom of the droid here, you've got two separate spaces. So I'm assuming the charging side goes on there and that other side goes on the arrow, like so. You can press the button a couple of times and it changes settings. That is corresponding to long preservation or daily use. So if you're going to be opening this every day, then daily use. I'm giving this a long test, so I'm going to set that to um, long preservation. So now I've got the hang of that. I'll show you how it's done. So once you put your long preservation or whatever setting you want on there, hold down with a bit of pressure on top so i'm pushing down more on that left hand side at the moment because that's where the arrow is of course so you can push that down hold down the button and it will start so i'm not sure when to let it go although it is feeling like it's getting a little bit tighter anyway it's going to absolutely explode now Okay, so I've let go of that. And that is apparently removing all of the oxygen. That's just now just removed all of the oxygen from the bowl itself. The display will show up here, it showed a tick. I'm not sure, sorry, I was holding the camera down here a little bit. It will show a tick up there to say it is done, which looks exactly like that. So that is now taken off from that. We can now take the bowl, we can put it in the fridge, so that is gonna live there. And then inside of here, I have loads of apples by the way, we're gonna grab this, we are gonna put that just in there. And uh, we'll come back and check on that in a few days time to see where we are. Four to six weeks later. So after, I don't know, three weeks, maybe even four, it was pre-Christmas that I filmed the last 
long video for this overall bipod food container video but there's been three weeks four weeks something like that the tomato i should have still left in the fridge and i will film it in a little bit more detail once i flip the screen around but let me just put that on the worktop for now and i've also got still in the fridge the bipod food container with the tomato still in there so what i'm going to do is also release the valve on the bipod food container and it will allow the air to get back into the container and then we can see what the um tomato actually looks like inside that container as i said it's been three weeks four weeks something like that so let's see what we've got so taking a look at the tomato that was not in the food container i'm not sure if it's being picked up well on camera i can see it on my phone but you can see that the skin if i can bring that closer and get some kind of macro on there the skin has gone very very wrinkly around this top edge of the tomato so the tomato is now showing its age which of course it would it's been nearly a month in the fridge without actually eating i mean it's still around the bottom it's still relatively hard it's still i would say possibly edible we're gonna have to look at the tomato inside of the um bipod food container to see the quality of that tomato and here is the bipod food container the tomato is still in the container as you can see just there let's release the air and see how that goes so to release the air itself this uh little seal here you can just pull on that which will then release the pressure and from there you can open the food container if we take a look at the tomato in the actual food container the coloring isn't too bad if i can bring that into the light a little bit more the coloring isn't too bad it is still extremely firm although it does feel a little bit soft again around the top but it is in much better condition i would say than the other tomato the one that wasn't in this container especially around the on the skin we're just going to slice into that to see what it's like on the inside and already to me that was slightly firmer when chopping and again it is retained if we show a comparison this one on the left is the tomato from the from the bipod food container the one on the right is the tomato that was left by itself as you can see this side is just gross again left is bipod food container and right is left in the um just in the salad drawer in my fridge and you can see how wrinkly the skin has got compared to the one from the bipod so i know this isn't an exact science we just literally put two tomatoes in the fridge one in the bipod food container and the other in the salad drawer and just seeing what happens i know i said in the previous segment that i was going to come back in a week or so but christmas going away new year going away and the date today is now the 10th yeah the 10th of january i'm not sure when this video is going to be going out but it's the 10th of january now so that's at least from before the 25th of december to the 10th of january a couple of weeks three weeks so um but i'm actually quite impressed that the tomato in the bipod food container lasted as long as it did without getting any kind of wrinkles or blemishes or bruises to the actual skin and i will say i'm actually quite impressed that the food was kept that fresh for that long it must have extended the life of the tomato by at least a week before we've just cut into it and seen what everything was all about so that's pretty impressive if, if you're someone who keeps a lot of fresh salad so let's recap i kept the tomatoes around for three weeks and four days and by the end of it the tomato from the salad drawer was all wrinkly and bruised and it didn't look great the tomato in the bipod container however was still super ripe and crunchy and could definitely still be eaten now of course the tomato from the salad drawer could be eaten as well but it was a bit soft and unappealing but still i've got to advocate for that food waste right but in this case and i know it wasn't exactly scientific it was still very interesting to see that the tomato from the bipod stayed fresh 
And if you're in a position like me where you avoid buying certain foods because you live alone and end up wasting more than you eat, then this could definitely be the answer for your problems as it's proven to extend the life of your fresh foods. But the big thing for me right now to get started like this is the cost. It's a pretty expensive way to keep your food preserved for longer periods of time. And the starter pack cost at the time of writing this script 270 pounds, which definitely makes this a premium product for the kitchen. The three containers do cost under 39 pounds. So the big purchase is definitely the droid, which does make sense. However, I do think you've really got to be a massive foodie or have a huge passion for food waste to warrant paying the price. If you're big on cooking and love to have all of the ingredients around you at all times, then this is definitely the way to go. But if you're someone who uses food containers to carry last night's leftover dinners to the office the following day for lunch, I stick to your current method. This product is about preserving food, right? And your leftovers aren't exactly going to spoil from the evening to the next day. They do some in a number of cool colors to match your style though. So there is that rather than the usual plastic translucent food containers you usually find. But I do think it is a cool product. It's it's just not something that everyone is going to need in their kitchen. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Bipod anti-aging food solution. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think about this product and is it something that you would use in your kitchen. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.